In this video, we are going to see how to add TidyCal booking details to Google Sheets. So let's say that you are using TidyCal as a scheduling software to schedule your meetings and every time there is a new booking, you want the details of the customer, the booking details, date, etc. to be there on your Google Sheet which is a spreadsheet. Now how can you do that? For this you will have to integrate the two applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be TidyCal and your action application would be Google Sheets. Now how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. In this video I am going to show you that how with the help of TidyCal you can schedule a meeting and then the same information can become a part of your Google Sheet. So let's say that I have to schedule a meeting for 12th and it's, it's for 4 o'clock or 4.30 p.m. So once I provide all the details and click on book event, so what will happen? My meeting will get scheduled and the same information will become a part of my Google Sheet. Now how do we do that? To understand that, let's begin. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of our software. If you already have an account with us, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to click on this tab, sign up for free and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So here I'm going to sign in as I already have an account and here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of the application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to add TidyCal booking details to Google Sheets. Now TidyCal is a scheduling solution that makes booking meetings easier than ever. I'm going to name this workflow as TidyCal Google Sheets integration. Let's click on create. So here again we have reached another window which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is the response. Do this. So here my trigger application would be TidyCal. Let's click on this. And as we do that here, we have to select the trigger event, which is the event that will make this workflow start. So here I'm going to go for new booking. So this trigger will start, this workflow will start every time there's a new booking. Now here on the right hand side, you can see every 10 minutes, basically this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. Here my application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So this workflow will Check for new data after every 10 minutes, right? Now I'm going to click on connect. As we do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with TidyCal account so that it can have access to the information. To set up this connection, let's click on add new connection and then connect with TidyCal. I have already logged into my TidyCal account and here we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now if I take you to my TidyCal account, so these are the different bookings that we have created. To create a new booking type, you can click on this tab and here you can fill in the entire information like, like the title here can be a 20 minutes meeting. And then the description, if you wish to add something over here, then the location. So if you want to add online video conference, then you will have to provide the link. Physical address, then you will have to provide the address, no location. And then the duration here, then the minimum meeting padding. So you can always change this as per your wish. Then how far out can users book? So you know they can book 60 days ahead or 30 days ahead. You can select that. Bookers can't schedule within two hours of current time, which means that you will have to give a notice at least three to four hours before. And here, when are you available for this booking? So you can just change that. Then if you want to add another question, you can add questions here. Then this is the confirmation redirect URL, etc. So once done, you can click on this create booking type to create a booking. So here I have already created a few bookings and here I'm going to take you to this 15 minutes booking. Let's copy this link, open this in a new tab. Now this is the link that you can share with your clients or with your customers or your colleagues and you know they can schedule meetings. So let's say that I have to schedule a meeting for 12th of October and let's say it is at 4 p.m. Let's say that the name is test user123 
and the email address is testuser123 at pablitudes.com. Then here we have the mobile number. So once done, let's click on book event. So here we can see that the booking has been confirmed. So this is an extremely easy way to make sure that, you know, your all your meetings are scheduled on time. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and let's click on save and send test request. As soon as we do that here, we have received the API response where we have received the information about our meeting, which starts at this particular time. Then if I take you down, this is the mobile number created and updated at this time. Then if I again scroll down, this is the name, this is the email address. And again, if I take you further down, this is the username. This is the slug 15 minutes meeting. Basically, this is the title. And again, if we go further down, this is the description book a meeting with me for 15 minutes. So we have received this entire information. And now what do I want? I want this information to be a part of my Google sheet. So here my next application would be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And now the action here, event here would be add new row. So every time we receive some information for the scheduled meeting, so a new row would be added in my Google Sheet. Let's click on connect. Here again, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Sheet account. We are going to click on add new connection and connect with Google Sheets. I have already logged into my Google Sheet. Let's click on the account that we wish to go ahead with. And here we have to provide the authorization. Let's click on continue. And yes, here you can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Public Connect is now connected with Google Sheets. Here we have to select the spreadsheet, the sheet and then the details. So now, I'm going to show you the spreadsheet that I've already created. So this is the spreadsheet that I've created. The name is tidycal details and the name of this particular table is booking details. Here I have the following column fields, contact name, email address, contact number, booking title, time duration, schedule date and start time. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Here you can see that it has already selected the spreadsheet tidycal details. And since there was only one table, so it has also received the same. Now we have to map this data. Mapping basically means the contact name, email address, the number, etc. I have already received in my previous step over here. I am just going to map it here so that next time onwards, every time there is a new data, it will automatically be captured by my system. So for contact name, let's go to step one. And here I'm going to look for name. So this is the name. Let's click on this. Then the email address again. Let's go here. And this is the email address. Then we have the contact number. I'm going to click on this. And this is my contact number. Then the booking title. So here again, let's look for title. So this is the title 15 minutes meeting. Now the time duration. So the duration is also there. So this is the time duration, which is 15 minutes. Now here you can see the scheduled date, but we haven't received the scheduled date in a general format. So what am I going to do? First, I'm going to add another action step over here. And this time I'm going to add a feature by Pabli, which is date time formatter. Let's click on this action event. And here I wish to format date only because I just need the date. Let's click on connect. So once done, what is the date? So I can go here. This is the start date. So I'm going to go here. Now the from format is the same and the to format. So I just need the date. So I'm going to go down and this is the format that I need to have. Let's click on save and send test request. So see here, you can see that I have received the date in the desired format, right? Now, the next thing that I need here is the start time. Again, the start time is in a different format. So I'm going to add another action step. And this time, again, I'm using the same feature by Pabli, which is date time formatter. Action event here this time would be format date with time zone. Let's click on connect. And here the date. So I'm going to again map the date, go to step one starts at and this is the from format. Now the two format here is if I scroll down, I just need the time in hours and minutes. Let's click on this. Now the from time zone is UTC and the two time zone here is Asia Kolkata. Let's click on this. 
and click on save and send test request i have selected the time zone as per my zone which i am currently in you can select it as per your time zone now here you can see that i have received the time which is four o'clock i'm going to go back click on connect once again select the existing connection and if i take you down here i'm going to map this information as well so for schedule date i'm going to go to step two let's click on this and for start time i'm going to go to step three and this is the start time now this is obvious that the end time would be 16 15 why because it is just a 15 minutes meeting let's click on save and send test request as soon as we have done that here we have received the api response which basically means that if this integration is a success so automatically the information should become a part of my google sheet so now i'm going to take you to the google sheet and yes here you can see that we have received the information about our meeting which basically means that our integration process is a success but we also need to check it in real time so what i'm going to do is i'm again going to go to tidycal copy this link open it in a new tab over here and once done i'm going to set up another meeting so let's say this time the time date is 13th of october and the time is 2 pm now the name here is demo user and email address is demo user at pablitudes.com and then the mobile number is the same let's click on book event so once done here we can see that the booking has been confirmed and also we have a polling time of 10 minutes which means that now we are supposed to wait for 10 minutes so that the same information can become a part of my google sheet so now after waiting for 10 minutes i'm going to quickly go back to the google sheet that i have created and yes this is the information so basically this means that our entire integration process is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to pably connect and understand the entire process once again so here our first trigger application was tidycal where our trigger event was new booking then our action application was google sheets where our action event was to add a new row here to format the date we had chosen a feature by pably which was date time formatter twice i hope this is very much clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box you can also clone the same and start the process immediately apart from this if you have any other suggestion or advice you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using pably connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pably.com you can also visit our website which is www.pably.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.